when you were working on a project, the code seemed to flow like a dream that was fueled by caffeine, and all of a sudden, wham, you come to the conclusion that you absolutely have to switch gears and take on a new essential duty. It could be a vital bug repair on another branch, or it could be a design change that just shouldn't wait. However, here is the problem. The job that you are currently working on is not yet ready to be committed to. It is in a muddy in-between state. Getting rid of stuff seems like a waste of time, but keeping it brings clutter to your desk. Fear not, developer hero. This is where the power of stashing comes in. It's like having a magic to-do list for your code changes. You can temporarily set them aside, switch tasks with a clean slate, and then, when you're ready, effortlessly retrieve your stashed work and continue where you left off. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Today, we'll be diving deep into stashing changes using GitHub Desktop. But before we jump in, let's rewind a bit. Version Control 101, a crash course. Imagine you're building a magnificent sandcastle on the beach. You meticulously sculpt towers, moats, and intricate details. But then, a rogue wave threatens to wash it all away. Version control is like having a magic bucket where you can save snapshots of your sandcastle at different stages. If disaster strikes, you can simply revert to a previous version and rebuild from there. That's essentially what Git, the version control system powering GitHub, does for your code. You commit your changes at specific points, creating a history of your project's evolution. But what if you're in the middle of sculpting your sandcastle, editing code, and a different project demands immediate attention? Here's where stashing shines. Stashing like a boss, a step-by-step -step guide. All right, let's get our hands dirty with GitHub Desktop. Step 1. Embrace the messy middle. Go ahead and make some changes to your code. Don't worry about creating a perfect commit message yet. We're just simulating that in-between stage we talked about earlier. Step 2. The stash button is your friend. Look towards the top right corner of the GitHub desktop window. See that button with a box and an arrow pointing upwards? That's your golden ticket, the stash changes button. Give it a heroic click. Step 3. Craft a meaningful stash name, optional. A pop-up window will appear, offering you the chance to christen your stashed work with a descriptive name. This is especially helpful if you plan on having multiple stashes. Think of it like labeling your sandcastle snapshots, moat fortification versus shell detailing. Step 4. Farewell, uncommitted changes. Hit stash and poof. Your uncommitted changes disappear from the changes panel. Your workspace is clean ready for you to tackle that other burning task. Step 5. Finding your stash treasures. Now, let's say you've conquered the urgent task and it's time to resume your original project. Head over to the left-hand sidebar in GitHub Desktop. Look for the inconspicuous, but oh-so-important, stashes section. It might be collapsed, so give it a click to expand. Step 6. Retrieving your stashed work. You'll see a list of your stash changes, hopefully named with your clever descriptions. Click on the stash you want to bring back to life. Step 7. Apply or pop. The choice is yours. Here, GitHub Desktop offers you two options, apply or pop. Both achieve the same outcome, your stash changes reappear in the changes panel. However, there's a subtle difference. Apply. This integrates your stash changes seamlessly into your current workspace. Think of it as carefully merging your sandcastle snapshots into the current structure. Pop, this discards the current workspace entirely and replaces it with your retrieved stash changes. Imagine completely rebuilding your sandcastle from a specific snapshot. Choose the option that best suits your workflow. Stashing, a superpower, not a crutch. Remember, stashing is a fantastic tool for temporarily setting aside uncommitted work. However, it shouldn't become a crutch for messy coding habits. Strive to make clear, well-defined commits whenever possible. But for those inevitable moments when you need to switch gears, stashing becomes your developer superpower.